Long Venture is a new early access game on Steam, came out February 24th, and in this game you're a small little settler that's been assigned to travel to Long Venture Island to research everything that makes the island special. And as you begin your expedition, you run into these things like PvP, building, crafting, farming, sandboxing, trading, and there's even the, the handcraftedness of the open world is very reminiscent of Animal Farm. And the comparison that one seems to keep making is Animal Farm versus PUBG. So I like the game so far, very relaxing mood, and we're going to get into it and see if we can have some fun. Catch you guys on the other side. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Radicus Prime, and welcome back to the channel. All right, we're going to check out Long Venture. It's an early access beta. Right now, it's got mostly positive reviews on Steam. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options, as we love to do, and see what we're looking at. All right, so we have video, HD resolutions, VSync is off, max frames per second. Okay, ooh, motion blur. I don't, I hate motion blur. All right, we'll take that down a bit. And that's switch it for there. Input, it does support gamepad or mouse and keyboard. We're going to be using mouse and keyboard in this playthrough. And there's the audio. And that's it. Bare bones, but it's early access. And there's a lot to sort of grasp onto early. So let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. How to play. Okay, so we've got our default inputs. We can wave, sit, pick up, inventory, check. Okay, your energy is your health. Maintain it to make sure you're not easy to kill. For up from other players, if the outpost has turrets, do not aim your chainsaw or weapon or you'll be killed. Tents and houses are safe places. No one can raid and steal your items. That's good. Use workbench to upgrade your tent. If you get stuck, type kill in chat. And C to wave. X to sit. Enter the chat. All right, step one. Okay, here we go. Uh, you'll spawn to a predetermined outpost based on your Steam ID. And you're given some starting money. MK. Please use this MK to buy your first tool from the vendor next to your spawn point starter vendors of different items for sale but we'll use the fishing rod as an example step two is make money by fishing okay locate fishing spots look for anomalies on the surface of the water got it got it once you've caught enough fish sell to the vendor okay and then uh spend to invest all right so we're just gonna we basically uh teach a man the fish and he gets rich i don't think elon musk had to deal with that sort of thing all right all right, so that's if we want to travel. It's, this is the vendor. Uh, ooh, ooh, I like these already. What is this? Ammo? That's what it's going to give me in the very beginning. All right, we bought the fishing pole, like it suggested. Now we have to find... Okay, so our energy here is our health. And the more we move around, the more energy goes down and the more damage we take. And I think also the environment's like being cold. And oh, look at that. You can zoom in. Being cold and everything affects it too. And what you do is you sit in front of the fire. See, so you can heal up no campfire and then it heals up your stamina there. Okay, so let's, ooh, right there. It says look for anomalies in the water. So let's see if I can, oh, got the fish in there. Out of reach. That one isn't. All right, there we go, zoom in. Oh, get out of my fishing hole. Get out of my hole. All right, I'm gonna tab E. So, okay, I think it means tap. Okay, so we, we both got fish. Can we wear out the hole? Can the two of us double team this hole and wear it out? We're going to see. I think the fishing... Um, ooh. Oh, oh, he made me... He made me, he made me pull out too quickly because I heard the noise. All right, so I like the presentation it does look a lot like animal crossing not that it's been recently since i played animal crossing but from what i remember come on there we go i think the fishing's taking a bit long maybe shave 10 seconds off of this oh was that me oh dude we can't we can't fish next to each other anymore you're messing up for everybody okay so he didn't get an exclamation point on the screen or I didn't get one on the screen when he was doing it. So if you see the E there, that means it's you. There we go. All right, so can I get partially in the water? Oh, I can. Oh, there we go. Now we're like fly fishing. Let's collect a few fish here, and then we'll see what we can buy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at these guys. Get out of here, these, these wise guys. 
Get out of my hole. Yep. And as you learn from the first hole, you can definitely wear out the second hole if two people are tearing it up. All right, so they ruined that. Let me, they've, ru they've ruined that hole. Let me go find another hole. Get you. How can that fish while swimming? Oh, I hate you so much, dude. Let's find another fishing hole. There we go. Got him a hole, dude. Don't come over here. Got him a hole. Oh, I hate you so much. I can see now why there would be burning, seething rage. We'd have weapons to shoot the crap out of each other. Apparently, this is a journal for things you discover and things you find. We're going to let you finish that up yourself here. Oh, look at this. There's a tent. Nice. Can I just walk in? Nope. I cannot just walk into people's tent. Oh, what is... Can I just grab that? It's just right there. It sparkled at me earlier. Can I... Can I... Can I just take what I want? Oh, it did. It let me... It let me rob other people. Oh, Nice. And it keeps updating my little compendium. I don't know why I can't get that. All right, so we're gonna let's go finish fishing here. Somebody's got a chainsaw. Ooh, can we get berries? Can we get berries? No. Can we look at my? It doesn't look like I'm full. Why can't I get berries? Oh, I gotta. Okay, so you gotta hold the button now. So you're not just gonna run by and ninja loot stuff. You gotta actually mouse over it and hold the button down. All right, let's get some stamina back, as we have learned. There we go. You're looking good. Maybe not as fast as I'd like, but okay. Boop. Okay, so now that we know he came back down, let's go up and see how quickly the fishing spots spawn back. Or, or we can sell what we have so we don't walk around a bunch of stinky fish in our inventory. Get this fish over here. This is DirectX 11 water. I know it looks different when you don't turn this on, but we we likes the good looks as a flower with our sparkle map. We need to get that. Let's catch a little more, a little bit more. Let's let's wear this hole out before we move on. This lake's very inviting. It's gonna let me keep popping it in there. Oh, inventory full. Okay. So inventory, wait, let's see if it's really full. Yep, inventory is really full. So let's go back over here. All right, so now we can sell something, maybe? Do we only sell what they want us to sell? Yeah, I don't have any wood. Oh, uh, okay. You can only sell what it wants to buy. Hmm. Hmm, that could be a, uh, that could be an issue. That could be an issue because I have none of that. All right, so then let's go see. Let's, for one, let's put, yeah, put you back in there. That's cool. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to go, uh, so, wait. Can I get the, does it want those yellow flowers? Because there's tons of them, like, right there. It does want the yellow flowers. Okay, here we go. Hold the, hold the button down. Inventory full. All right, so I might just drop the rest of this crap on the ground. What? I thought it... Is it berries? Oh, it's for the berries. Okay, well, here. Can I, can I just drop this? Can I? 
Oh, here we go. I can. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop all these. That on the ground. We're going to keep some of the fish. We're going to keep some of the fish. We're going to drop you. And let's go find some berries. Like up here. There's some berries up there. Can even get up there? I cannot. I can, there's some more berries over here. Whatever. Hold the button down. Hold the button down. Hold the button. There we go. Big open area. More berries. Inventory full. All right, so we are gonna I'm gonna get rid of these fish. As much as I want the fish. As much as I want the fish. It looks like the berries are selling a lot better. Ooh. Someone's starting their own little community right there. Alright, let's grab these berries. Come on, left click, grab. There we go. Let's grab these berries. This is the this is the guy that, that let me borrow his seeds. Oh, and that picked it up. What happened? Hmm. Uh, let's drop you over here. You up? Okay. I didn't think I needed that, but all right. Let's go sell. Let's go sell. There's no running that I can see here either. Like I'm I'm hitting things, and it's not letting me sprint. So when you explore, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an adventure. Okay, so now we're back at the vendor. And I see things you drop are somewhat persistent. So let's, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. And now I have 176. Wait, I wasn't even keeping track. What should I have beforehand? I don't know. I don't know what I had beforehand, but we're gonna assume that I'm making money. We're gonna we're gonna assume that I'm making money. Alright, so this is gonna take a little while, so I am going to keep on with the hustle and see if I get enough money to at least make a tent. Oh, so I found another vendor that looks almost the same as the one I had, and he's actually buying fish. Not all the fish that I have, but he's buying fish. So I have 304. All right, so is there a map in this game? Tab, there's no map. M, there's no map. Control, shift, there's no map. Hit escape. Let's look at options. Input. Inventory chat, there's no map. Okay. I walked pretty far, too. All right, so apparently here I can fish. This might be more viable, too. Let's, let's go ahead. What did I do? Oh, I put it down. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on, there we go. And now I need to... There we go.
Yeah, it looks like I have enough room for one more. All right, so now we got enough fish. Let's get some of our energy back. Oop, we're going to sit down. Oop. I don't, oh, wait, yep, I think you actually would do energy. Yeah, you do recover energy a little bit faster sitting. So I like the charm, the aesthetic and the charm that this game, for lack of a better phrase, the the atmosphere. It's slow. It's not a fast paced game. You're not going to, like I said, you're not going to run through and ninja loot and troll people, at least not right now. There's one speed, chill and 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 chill okay now let's go to the vendor and it seems like most of the vendors i've seen so far have been close to the water close to the boats or your starting points so if you just hug the coastline you'll find a vendor that may or may not help you nice you may find a vendor that may or may not help you with getting enough money to start building your, your little empire. Because this is the second vendor I came to, and he wanted fish. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I still have... Oh, I need just a bit more, but I have two pieces of fish that aren't going to do me any good. Okay, so let's take these two pieces of fish dump you out. Let's see what I get from this one. Alright, so now we got two fishies. Let's see if they're the ones I want to sell. Yes, they are. Oh, 32. Okay, so now I have enough to buy a tent. So I definitely want a tent so I can have a place to sort of hang out in. But I also want a container so I can store more stuff to make more money. So I think we're going to get the tent, for sure. Ooh, and we're going to get the container, for sure. And now, let's figure out where we want to live. Now, we could definitely stay here close to the fish. I don't know if these rotate, but since that vendor likes to buy fish, being somewhere here might not be a bad idea. But I feel like it's going to be crowded here, too. Or does it matter? Let's, since this is just... But then on this server, because there's different servers you could jump on, you just find a server that's not full and you pop on. So your character is going to be pretty persistent on that server. As it... So what do we want to do? Am I ever going to come back to the server? I don't know. Let's... I love that. What is that? I want to upgrade my stuff for that. Look at that red one. How are you? Hey, hey, where are you going? Where do you live? I'm going to follow you home. No, I'm not. That's funny. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that weird. All right. So there's a fire here. Can I make my own fires? I'm pretty sure I can. Do I want to be somewhere close to a fire, or will I be able to recover my energy? You know what? Let's let's be part of the community right here. Let's see if I can. Okay. Too close to someone else's property. Overlapping. Hmm. Overlapping still. Yeah, this is going to be weird. Because it might be stuff that you can't build close to, like the trees and stuff, because they're going to spawn there. So now I think this is going to quickly just devolve into running around trying to figure out where you can place your, your tent. Overlapping with player model. Ooh, there's a oh, these right here. These are here. Let's let's look in here. These are places you can get supplies from. Is there anything in these boxes? No, nothing in the boxes. All right, zoom in a little bit. Nothing here. Nothing here. But, but wait, there's there, there's more. Oh, somebody somebody's got a gun. Hear them shooting. 
Ooh, what is this? Another vending machine. Oh, so this right here, will, will this sell? So you could sell anything at these. James General Store. Okay. Nice. Alright, so do I want to be close to that? Let's see how close I can get to the... Let's do this. Let's... Too close to a point of interest. Okay, overlapping. Got it. Let's see if we can find an empty spot for us here. Since I can sell... What is this? Did somebody die? Oh, yep. Containers in use by somebody else. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. So it's going to be tricky trying to find. Obviously, it's going to be tricky. But is it like. Hmm. Oh, 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 right here. Rotate it. All right, I won't rotate it. Boom, done. So now let's get inside. Can I get inside? <gasps> yay, look at this, yay. Why do I have a rug that's sitting over here? Why do I have a, all right, so you can, only you can enter your tent. You can share your home once you upgrade it to a wooden house. I wonder if I could rotate it once I upgrade it. All right, so let's get the container. How do you rotate? Is not. Is that a way to rotate? Hmm. Can you scroll mouse? Note left. All right. So we're going to figure that out. We're going to figure out the rotating thing, but we're going to go ahead and put, we'll just put you here. Boom. And now look at that. Now I have tons of space. All right. So now I have my own little home. Let's pop out of here. Wave to those guys. So now I think I could just start just like because guess what? I could sell all this. Ooh, can I sell? Oh, I didn't know this place was here either. What can I sell right here? All right, so he's buying those flowers. That's good. And then he's buying all types of fish. So I don't want to go to another island just yet. What flowers do I need? Okay, this. So now, so now the game's opening up. I need to. Oh, I need to make a work. Do I need to make a workbench? Okay, hold on, hold on. One thing at a time. Um, receive wood matches. All right, so let's do this so I can make a fire. Then they want the pataka, right? Which I think are the white ones here. Was I not paying attention? Let's go see if that was the white ones. Then I go build a fire near my tent. See if I can find that general store and we can call it a... Nope. All right. So I'm colorblind. But I can still sell this stuff at the general store. So let's go up to my tent. Now there's upgrades you could buy too. You can buy like a little GPS radio and that gives you a map. Where you can go. Oh, easy, easy. There we go. They're already freaking out. All right, so this is my workbench. Yes. All right, so this is my workbench that I could craft on. I'm going to go ahead and put... All right, so I can't add any more stuff to that. Oh, okay. So how do I craft? So how do I craft? Is it crafting? Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Look at that. We just figured out crafting. That's that's nice. All right, let's pop the seeds in there because we don't need those. We're going to sell these. Well, I should take one set of seeds and see how much they cost. And since my energy is running low and that is the equivalent of life, let's go ahead and set you. In. Can I place item that far away? 
There we go. Well, you got to put it like right up in your butt. All right. So let's pop down. Let's get our energy. So again, I like the game. It's it's an open world experience, which I wish maybe later on. It's an early access now. Maybe later on they'll have a way to travel a little bit faster. Uh, the boats can move you between different islands. The initial money situation you have, which kind of, you know, I was, at first I thought fishing took up the majority of the beginning, you know, intro time. And now I, I feel like I could just grab a bunch of stuff, sell it and make money left and right. So I'm really looking forward to what this game can get into. And you can even run your own server. So if you had a small group of friends, guild, whatever, and you guys wanted to do your own server, you could really just start your own island and do it a la Rust or or any other type of H1Z1, H1 and Zone, whatever that stupid game is. Never played it. Um, but I heard it's really good. Alright, so we got we got that. And I don't have any more. So let's go see. I know it's up this way. And my house is close to the coastline, so this looks like some sort of radar tower. Yep. So now let's go here. So I might have actually lucked out putting my, my stuff there. Boom. And then, ah, oh, so you're worth 14, so yes. So it takes five of you to make one packet, or four to make one packet. So I actually get more money if I, if I get the packets. Okay. Okay, we're not going in there. Let's go south. Let's grab some more plants. Just to test out this money theory. Unless someone else picked it all up. Look at this. Look at this lady. She is decking out. I should just take her. Is she even going to see me? Oh, she's smart. Can I open these? Okay, she's smart. So she could probably leave. She can go into her house and then pop out from there. I don't have to remember that. Go in the house, you can leave the sides, and then you can protect your plants. Because, of course, I was the guy that stole a bunch of plants last time. No way up there. These, these are nice. So, one, two, three, four, just keep clicking. Five, six, seven. Ater, how many can I carry? Come on, come on. Oh, got to hold the button down. I was clicking at first and it was working. And it got angry at me. All right, so that's full. Yep, inventory's full. Let me loop around here. Rack with you. And you're not buying that color, but that's okay. I don't need you to buy it. I'm going to go make seed packets. Which at the general store, I was only getting one coin per flower. But if I could craft the packets, I'll get 14, I think. 14? All right, come on, get in there. There we go. Look here. So one, two, three, four. Oh. Four, boom, one, two, three, four, boom, one, two, three, four, boom. All right, so we're going to see how much it costs to sell just four and then how much one packet costs. And then we'll wrap this video up with my thoughts, which I can tell you right now, I like the game, but we'll try to do it a more, do it more efficiently, officially, officially efficient here shortly. Okay, so did he bop through here? There we go. It was close by and we're gonna come here and boom. All right, so each one of these is two, four, six, eight, right? And then just one of that is 14. So you get more money if you combine them yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, sell. I can buy back whatever someone puts there, but that's, oh, that's expensive. All right, so now I have 179. Then let's go log out of my uh, tent. All right, so like I said, the game's in early access review right now. 
I, re I, I, I like the game. It's not going to be something, you know, I'm going to obsess over. It's not an action RPG type. And it's not an action RPG type game. But I think it's going to be just enough to probably build its own niche. And let me see here. I'm trying to do three things at once and it's not working. All right, it's probably going to build its own cult following. And I think it can only go up from here. So, you know, so again, um, the music, eh, it's not very, not a whole lot of atmospheric music, but I think you can throw your own lo-fi chill music in the background. Oh, that'd be cool too. Like a, maybe you could make your own radio station. Oh, what if, what if there was like a broadcast radio tower? That would be cool. And you guys could like, we could fight over at PVP and then whatever group owns it for the week gets to pick what type of music is playing. So they could do anything from polka music to lo-fi. And then that could be part of the, Either you turn the sound, turn the music down in the game, or you just go PvP out for the place. That would be cool. All right, let's grab, let's grab four more of these. So developers, if you are, if you are indeed listening to this, I'm sure you're not. No one watches these videos that close. And it's Uvana Studios. All right, so we come here. And I can buy, I don't need anything. There's nothing I need from this vendor. But I could go, oh, you get coordinates too. But I could go northeast, and there's another outpost that has things that I need. Okay, or we could just hop on the boat. Let's, let's see here. 199 to go here, and there's things that you can travel to outposts of different types of vendors. You can always travel back to your starter outpost free of charge. Okay, so this, that's my starter outpost there, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're not. It's too too deep. We're not going to get into that. So let me go ahead and get back to my tent, and then we're going to call it. But again, I like the atmosphere. I like the style of the game. I like the presentation. I wish there was a little bit more background music, maybe some more positional audio so you can tell what's going on. Birds, maybe some seagulls, raging water maybe eventually put some rafts in and people can go out and do like deep sea fishing that would be awesome too so there's a lot to do there's a lot to kind of want to do in this game and i'm really digging this animal crossing type inside it's one two three four look at that and then making money in this game isn't going to be that hard all right, so there you have it. Long Venter, Early Access. It's in version 1.0. It's on Steam, guys. I uh, highly suggest you check it out. If you like the game, let me down in the comment section below. And if you like this video and you want to see more, uh, you know, kind of weird little things like this, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Let me know you like it. And maybe hit subscribe. I don't know. All right, guys. I will catch you later. i got some other videos coming out this week. So look forward to that. And then I get back to my favorite game, Predator Hunting Grounds. All right, guys. Catch you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.